poncho enough on here, I think. Well, good evening. Welcome to our Hatha Yoga class from the Yoga Source. Uh, my name is uh, Marwan Dal. For those who don't know me, I'll be guiding the class. Uh, and my beautiful girlfriend Isabel is going to be assisting me throughout the class, demonstrating all the postures that we need to do today. So, uh, uh, if you like, if you have any props you'd like to need to use during your class today, you can always use a block or a bolster. If you don't have a bolster or a block, you can use um, some um, pillows or cushions that you have laying around or even a blanket, just roll around to uh, any shape you like. Maybe put it underneath your knees if your knees hurt or uh, your elbows or your wrists. And if you use a strap, you can easily just grab a belt if you need to. Uh, always helpful in the forward bend, uh, bends. So without any further chit chat, let's just get started. We're going to start in our easy pose. If you'd like to sit with cross-legged, I like to use the block to lift my hips up a little bit so my hips are higher than my knees. This way you can get your spine to be long and straight. You can rest your hands on your thighs or on your knees. Tuck your chin in a little bit so the neck is aligned with the spine. Close your eyes and start to focus on your breathing. Taking deep inhales through the nose. Let it out through the nose. Relaxing the nervous system. Slowing down your breath. Relaxing and releasing any thoughts in your head. Try to connect to your breath, feeling the movement in your body on the inhale. Noticing the little movements on the exhale. We're grounding ourselves, trying to find that inner calmness, that inner stability. Maybe you can start to use your ujjayi breath, constricting the air passage in your back of your throat. So you can actually hear yourself breathing. This helps to build heat in the body from the inside out. Helps you stay a little more focused and maybe hold your postures a little longer. If you have any intentions you'd like to set before the start of your class, that would be a good time to do so. I always advise everybody to listen to their body, be mindful, and don't force yourselves into anything your body doesn't want to get into. Let's take a couple of cleansing breaths to get together, taking a deep inhale through the nose, fill in the belly and the chest as much as you can, and then part your lips inside out. Couple more time at your own pace. Deep inhale. Fill the belly and the chest as much as you can. And let it out. One last time. Let's make this one the biggest one. Deep inhale. All the way up to the collarbones. And sigh it out. Slowly open your eyes. Shifting forward. Onto your knees if you have 
anything underneath you, like wanna take it to the side, keep it within hand's reach if you need it later, and we'll come on all fours into our tabletop position, stacking the shoulders on top of the wrists, the hips on top of the knees. With the inhale, we'll drop the belly and look up, taking our chin up to the ceiling. With the exhale, we'll round the back, tuck the tailbone in, tuck the chin into the chest, can into our cat postures. Keep moving with your breath here, going through your cat cows. On the inhale, dropping the belly, looking up. On the exhale, rounding the back, pushing the mat with your hands, letting the shoulder blades separate in the back, tucking the tailbone in, releasing all the air from the body. Always move with your breath. Couple more rounds of cat cows here. With the next exhale, we'll come to our neutral tabletop position. Tuck the toes underneath us and then slowly press into your hands, pressing down and back and lifting your hips up into your first downward facing dog of the class. Maybe start walking your legs in place here, bending one knee, extending the other. Finding that release in the back of your hips and the hamstrings. Making sure the hands are long straight, the back is straight, hips reaching up towards the ceiling. At the same time, trying to get the heels a little closer to the mat. Find stillness for a couple of breaths. Finding that upside down V shape in the body in our downward facing dog. One more big inhale through the nose. Open your mouth and let it out. Bend the knees, come all the way down. Keeping the knees together or opening up the knees as wide as your mat, bringing the toes to touch in the back. Slowly take your hips back, sinking into your child's pose, reaching the arms forward, relaxing your forehead or your chin on the mat, reconnecting with your breath, trying to find a little softness wherever you can in the body, especially in the shoulders, in the hips, in the ankles. Try to find a little space in the body with every inhale and then with the exhale try to relax and sink a little more into it with our next inhale let's push ourselves back up into our tabletop position restack the joints tuck the toes under Lift your hips up, find your downward facing dog one more time. With the inhale, we're going to lift the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hips, stack the hips on top of each other. With our next inhale, let's kick that right leg back up into the ceiling. With the exhale, bring it underneath the body, in between the hands, into our low lunge, dropping the left knee down to the mat. With the inhale, slowly press into your front leg, lift up, taking your hands up into the ceiling, into your crescent moon. Make sure you keep the shoulders pressing down away from the ears. Breathing in and out the nose. One more round of breathing here, deep inhale through the nose. With the exhale, let's take the left elbow and hook it around the right knee, pressing the palms against each other and finding that twist. Maybe taking your gaze up to the ceiling. Keeping length in the neck, making sure you don't press the shoulders up towards your ears. One more deep inhale. Let's release the twist with the exhale, frame that front leg, and then take our hips back, finding our half splits, 
Big in the right heel into the mat. Toes pointing up to the ceiling. Try to keep a straight back if you can. If you can't, use the blocks or bolster to lift yourself up a little bit. Keep breathing into the back of your leg. With the next inhale, let's come forward, bending the front knee, framing the front foot, pressing the left hand into the mat, opening up and taking your right hand towards the ceiling, spreading the fingers away from each other, keeping the fingers active. Use your ujjayi breath to keep a strong posture, engaging the core muscles. With our next inhale, let's bend the left leg and then drop the right hand behind our back, grabbing our ankle, stretching the quad, pressing the heel towards your sitting bones, opening up your chest, taking your gaze up into the ceiling. Keep pressing firmly into that right, uh, the left hand. Make sure to keep your shoulder pressing down towards the mat to keep that length in the neck. With your next exhale, slowly release your hand, framing the front foot, releasing the back leg on the mat. Tuck the back toes under and then press into the front leg and lift yourself up into our high crescent lunge. Reaching the hands towards the ceiling, find length in your spine, dropping the shoulders away from your ears. One more deep inhale. With the exhale, let's frame the front leg. Step the right leg back to meet the left into our plank. Stacking the shoulders over the wrists. Lifting the hips up a little bit, pressing down with the hands firmly to keep the shoulders separate away from each other in the back. Keep the core tight, keep the breath going. When you're ready to come down, maybe drop the knees to the mat or shift forward and bend the elbows coming all the way down into the belly. Release the top of the feet. On the inhale, lift up into your cobra. Pressing the shoulders down, reaching the crown of the head up, keeping length in your neck. Slowly on the exhale, come back down, bringing the forehead down to the mat. With our next inhale, press yourself up and back into your child's pose. Inhale, press yourself up into your tabletop position, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up into your downward facing dog. With our next inhale, we'll take the left leg up as high as you can, bend the knee, stack the hips, open up the hips, maybe that right heel comes all the way down to the mat. Pressing firmly and equally into both hands to keep the shoulders square to the front of your mat. One more round of breathing here. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. With the next inhale, let's take that left leg up into the ceiling. Exhale, bring it underneath the leg, in underneath the body, in between the hands. Coming down to our Low lunge, dropping the right knee down to the mat. With the inhale, press into the front leg and lift up. Reaching up with the hands, sinking deeper into your hip, finding your crescent lunge. Crescent. <laughs> Breathe into your posture. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, pressing away from your ears. One more deep inhale, 
with the exhale, let's drop the right hand down to the mat, bend the back leg and reach with the left hand, grabbing the, uh, the ankles, pressing it closer to your glutes, at the same time opening up your chest and taking your gaze up into the ceiling, finding that opening in the shoulders, in the chest, at the same time stretching the quad. One more deep inhale, with the exhale release the foot, frame the front leg, and then take the hips back, finding your half splits, digging your left heel into the mat, toes pointing up, try to keep a straight back, use a block if you need to lift yourself up a little bit, just make sure you're breathing into the back of your leg, breathing into those tight hamstrings, maybe you'll feel it in the lower back. With our next inhale, let's bend into the front knee, coming back up into our crescent moon, taking the hands up into the ceiling. With the exhale, let's hook the right elbow to the left knee, finding the twist, pressing the elbow into the knee, taking the gaze, looking over your left shoulder, keeping length in the neck. Staying connected to your breath. One more round of breathing. With the exhale, let's release the twist, frame in the front foot. Tucking the back toes under, pressing into the front leg, lifting up into a high crescent lunge. Keeping the front knee over the front heel, back leg fully extended and engaged. Reaching through the fingers, finding length in the spine, one more deep inhale. With the exhale, frame the front foot, step the left leg back, finding our plank. Engaging the core. Keeping the shoulders over your wrists. Let's lift the hips up and find that downward facing dog. One more deep inhale. With the exhale, let's bend the knees and look forward. Step to the front of your mat into a forward fold. Keep your feet as wide as your hips. Bending the knees as much as you need to. Grabbing opposite elbows. And maybe start swinging left and right. Relaxing your neck, relaxing your head. Maybe shake your head yes and no. Breathing into the back of your legs, breathing into your hamstrings. Maybe you'll even feel it in your calves. Just make sure you keep that bend in your knees if you need to. Don't rush yourself or push yourself into it if you feel any discomfort or any pain. Heel and toe your feet closer to each other. Drop your hands to the mat. With the next inhale, let's lift halfway up. Finding a straight back. Pushing the crown of the head forward, your tailbone back. Tucking the belly in. Finding length in your spine. With your next exhale, release the hands to the mat. Bend the knees and reverse swan dive, reaching towards the ceiling. With the exhale, hands come down heart center. And then release and open up to the sides. Inhale and reach up. Exhale and fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Adha Uttanasana. With the exhale, drop your hands to the mat. Step your legs back into your plank. 
Always you have the option here to drop your knees before you come down or just bend the elbows and chug around the down. Upward facing dog or cobra. And then take your hips up, roll over your toes into your downward facing dog. With our next inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, bring it underneath the body in between the hands. Drop in the back heel into a 45 degree angle. Lift it up into your warrior one. Make sure your hips are parallel to the front of your mat, square to the front. Tuck the belly in. Reaching up with the fingers. With the next exhale, let's take the hands behind the back, clasp the fingers together, press in the knuckles down, open up your chest, take a deep inhale through the nose. With the exhale, bend forward away from your knee, bring in the crown of the head as close to the mat as possible, making sure you're keeping the shoulders pressing up away from the ears and the shoulder blades pressing towards each other. One more round of breathing here. With the next inhale, press into your front leg, lift yourself up, release the hands, reach up with another inhale. With the exhale, frame the front foot, take your right leg back to meet the left leg into your plank. From plank, let's stick the hips up, into our downward facing dog. With our next inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, let's bring it underneath the body, in between the hands. Dropping the back heel to a 45 degree angle. Pressing into the front leg, lifting up into your warrior one on this side. Square the hips to the front, square your shoulders. Tuck the belly in, keep yourself connected to your breath. With the next exhale, drop the hands behind your back, clasp the fingers together, press the shoulders down, open up your chest, take a deep inhale. With the exhale, fall forward into your humble warrior on this side. Use your ujjayi breath, listen to yourself breathing. This is going to help you hold the posture a little longer. With our next inhale, let's press into the front foot, lift it up, come into an upright position, reaching up with the inhale. With the exhale, frame the front foot, step the left leg back to meet the right leg, finding your plank one more time. From plank, engaging the core. Let's keep working the core a little bit. Press your hips up into your downward facing dog. With our next inhale, let's take the right leg up. With the exhale, bringing the right knee to the right elbow. Hold it here. Press into the mat. Lift up your shoulders. Next inhale, take the right leg back up. Exhale, bring the right knee to the left elbow this time. Hold it here. Keep the breath going. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, take your right leg back up. Exhale, slowly drop it down to meet the left leg. Finding your downward facing dog. Drop into your knees. Sink your hips back into your heels. Finding a close knee child's pose.
Try to slow down your heart rate. Try to reconnect to your breath. Slow down the thoughts in your head. Just focus on what you're doing. One more round of breathing here. With our next inhale, let's press ourselves back up into our tabletop position. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up into your downward facing dog. With our next inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, bring the left knee to the left elbow, hold it there. Keep the core tight, keep pressing into the mat. Inhale, take the left leg up. Exhale, left knee to, to right elbow this time. Inhale, take your left leg up. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Keeping the core tight. Keep your breath going, don't hold your breath. Inhale, kick up. With the exhale, slowly drop your leg down to meet the left leg. Couple of breaths here and downward facing dog. Reaching the hips higher into the ceiling, maybe dropping the heels closer to the mat. On the exhale, let's bend the knees and look forward. Step or hop to the front of your mat into a forward fold. Inhale and lift halfway up. Exhale, release the hands, bend the knees, press into your feet and lift up. Taking the fingers to the ceiling. On the exhale, hand comes down to heart center. Inhale and reach up. Exhale and fold. Halfway up on the inhale. Exhale, release the hands to the mat. Step back into your plank. Chaturanga down. Upward facing dog or cobra. And then downward facing dog. With our next inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, bring it underneath the body in between the hands. Press into the front leg and lift up into your high crescent lunge. One more deep inhale. With the exhale, let's take the right hand behind the back. Left hand reaching forward, opening up to the right side. Inhale, come back up to center, reaching both hands up. With the exhale, drop the back heel and open up into your warrior two. Making sure the front heel is in line with the arch of the back leg. Front knee over the front heel. Relaxing the shoulders, pressing them down, making sure you keep the shoulders over the hips. Gazing through the middle finger of our front hand. Keep that bend in the front knee. Inhale, with the inhale, take your hand up and back into your reverse warrior. Finding space in the body with every inhale. With the exhale, maybe sink in a little deeper. You can take your left hand behind your back for a bind like Isabel's doing here. One more round of breathing. With the exhale, lean forward, bring the elbow to the knee. Left hand rotates and goes over the head. Open up your chest. Find that opening in your chest. Taking your gaze up. Look into the ceiling. Reaching forward with the fingers. Finding that straight energy line in the body from the tip of your fingers all the way down into your ankle. Try not to lean in too much on your elbow. Maybe release the hand from your knee and reach both hands forward like you're grabbing a big, huge ball in your hands. 
With our next inhale, let's come back up into our reverse warrior. Take in the bind if you want to. With our next inhale, come forward into our warrior two. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. With our next inhale, let's straighten that front leg. Sink deep into our hip, lean forward, dropping the right hand down to the mat, reaching up with the left, finding our triangle pose. Use your side muscles, your core muscles to hold you up. Use a block or a bolster, whatever you need to, to lift yourself up if you need. One more deep inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna revol revolve our triangle, dropping the left hand down to the mat. Maybe rotating the back leg to square the hips. Pressing into that left hand. Open up and take your right hand to the ceiling. Trying to keep both legs straight. Gazing over your right shoulder. Keeping the fingers active, spreading the fingers away from each other. One more deep inhale. With the exhale, drop the right hand down, friend the front foot. Keep both legs fully extended if you can. Take a deep inhale and find length in your spine. With the exhale, fold over your right leg into your pyramid pose. Maybe here you can press your right hip back a little bit, left hip forward to keep your hips square. And stay connected to your breath. Slow down your breath as much as you can. Try to sink in a little deeper with every exhale. Releasing a little more, letting go a little more. With our next inhale, let's lean forward, bending the front knee. Shifting your weight into the front leg, lifting up the back leg, taking it all the way as much as you can. Keeping your left hip down, try not to open up your hips, keeping the hips square. Maybe bringing one hand closer to that standing leg. Or maybe using both hands to grab your standing ankle. Finding your standing splits. One more deep inhale. With the exhale, drop your left leg to meet your right leg into a forward fold. Inhale and lift halfway up. Find that length in your spine, pressing the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale and release your hands down. Bend the knees and reverse swan dive, taking the hands to the ceiling. With the exhale, hands come down to heart center. And then open up to the side. Let's just pause and feel for a moment here. Reconnect to your breath. Notice if you're doing anything wrong. We have time to do the other side right now. So let's inhale and reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway up on the inhale. Straight back, shoulders pressing back, tuck that belly in. Exhale and release the hands to the mat. Step back into your plank. Go through your flow here, chaturanga down. Upward facing dog or cobra. And then lift your hips up into your downward facing dog. Press down and back with the hands. Lift your hips a little higher into the ceiling. With our next inhale, let's take the left leg up. Exhale, bring it underneath the body in between the hands. Press into the front foot. 
lift up into your high crescent lunge. Keep the core tight, shoulders pressing down, front knee over the heel, back leg fully extended with the heel over the toes. With the next exhale, let's take the left hand behind the back, right hand reaching forward, taking your gaze to your left side. Twisting the spine. With our next inhale, reach back up to center. Exhale, drop your back heel, and open up to your warrior two on this side. Front knee over the heel. Shoulders relaxed over the hips, gazing through the middle finger of our front hand, back leg fully extended, pressing down and back. When you're ready, let's flip that front hand, inhale and take it up and back into our reverse warrior. Breathing in and out the nose. Finding more space in the body with the inhale, with the exhale, sinking a little deeper. With our next inhale, let's come forward, bringing the elbow to the knee. Right hand goes over the head, reaching forward, keeping the fingers active. Pressing down and back with the right heel, reaching forward with the fingers. Maybe press down onto that front foot, lift both hands forward as if you're holding a huge ball in your hands. With our next inhale, let's come back up into our reverse warrior. One more round of breathing here. Exhale, warrior two. With our next inhale, straighten that front leg, sink back into your hip, reach forward with the hand, drop the left hand down to the mat, right hand reaches to the ceiling, stacking the shoulders on top of each other, keeping the neck long, open up your chest, take your gaze up, looking at your thumb. We're going to do the same thing on this side. On the next exhale, let's revolve our triangle, dropping the right hand down to the mat, maybe rotating the back leg to square the hips. Press down into your right hand and open up and take the left hand to the ceiling. One more round of breathing. With the exhale, let's frame that front foot. Maybe shorten your stance a little bit if you'd like. Make sure toes are pointing forward, hips are squared, pressing the left hip back, right hip forward. Let's take a deep inhale to find length in the spine. With the exhale, fold over your left leg, bringing the forehead closer to your toes. Try to keep as straight back as you can. Breathing into the back of your leg. One more round of breathing here. With the exhale, let's bend that front knee, shift the weight forward, and then let that right leg hover all the way up, bringing the forehead closer to your shin. Finding our standing splits. Maybe bringing one hand a little closer to the ankle, maybe both hands, if you'd like to challenge yourself. One more deep inhale. With the exhale, let's drop that right leg down to meet the left leg into a forward fold. Inhale and lift halfway up. Exhale, release and reverse swan dive, taking the hands to the ceiling. 
With the exhale, hands come down to heart center. Shifting into a couple of standing poses here. Let's come to the front of our mat. Standing with feet as wide as your hips. Find your mountain pose here. Pressing the heels down into the mat. Finding that length in your spine. Reaching the crown of the head forward, uh, uh, up. Reaching the fingers up. With the exhale, let's bring the hands down to heart center. Shifting our weight to the left leg. Taking our right leg up. Maybe to the calf. Or all the way up into the inner thigh to find our tree pose. It helps to find a focus point in front of you, a drishti point. Just make sure when you're in your posture to make, keep that right leg, right knee open to the right side. Keep that standing leg solid. So you want your quad to be engaged, you want to tuck that tailbone underneath you, keep the core engaged, keep the shoulders pressing down away from the ears. And if you come out of it or you feel wobbly, you can get back in it wherever you are. Remember balance is a day-to-day -day thing. It even varies from side to side as we'll see next when we do the left side. So when you're ready to come out of this, slowly, Mindfully, same way you came in, come out, shake off that left leg, and let's get ready to do the right side. Inhale and reach up. Press the heels down, find that length in your spine. With the exhale, bring the hands down, heart center, shifting your weight onto your right leg this time. Lifting up into your calf, or pressing the sole of your foot into the inner thigh. Make sure you don't press your leg into the knee. You don't want to put any pressure onto the joints. Keep the core tight, shoulders pressing down. Maybe if you have your balance, reach the hands up. And then open up, finding your tree branches. When you're ready to come out, same way you came in, slowly, mindfully, come out of it, shake it off. We'll do one more balancing pose here. Let's come to the front of our mat, or maybe Come back a little bit, uh, Isabel, get into our dancer pose here. So let's open up the right hand to the side as if you're holding a tray. Shift your weight onto the left leg, bend the right knee up, and then reach back and grab the ankle of your foot with the right hand, keeping the knees close to each other. Reach up with the left hand. And then you can be here. This, is, could be a, this could be your dancer pose if you want to challenge yourself a little bit. Start kicking that right leg into the right hand and start leaning forward from the hip. Reaching forward with the hand, kicking the right leg into the right hand, maybe until the toes start to appear from behind your head. When you're ready to come out, come back to center. Release your right leg, shake it off, and get ready to do the other side. When you're ready, open up the left hand to the side. Shift your weight onto the right leg. Bend that left knee. Grab the inside of your foot. Bring the knees together. Find length in your spine. Reach up with the right hand. On the exhale, keeping the core tight. Start hinging from your hip, reaching forward, kicking the left leg into your left hand. 
If you come out of it, try again. Make sure you keep a micro bend in the front in the standing leg. When you're ready to come out, shake it off. Come back to the front of your mat. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, hinge through the hips, come down, sit into that imaginary chair behind you. Chair pose. Sorry. <laughs> Keep the back straight, tuck your tailbone underneath you, look down and make sure you can still see your toes from behind your knees. If it's too hard for you to keep your hands above your head straight, bring your hands to the heart center, press in the thumbs into the chest. One more deep inhale, with the exhale, fold forward. Use your peace fingers to grab the toes. Open up the elbows to the sides. And then try to extend the legs as much as you can. Once you get to your edge, hold it there, breathe into it. Or if you want to get a little deeper, start pulling with the hands, opening up the Elbows to the side, coming deeper into your front forward fold. One more round of breathing. With the exhale, release. Stay in, in your forward fold. Let's lift the right leg up, sliding the right hand underneath, pressing the elbow, the toes into your wrists, into our gorilla pose. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck and your head. Make sure the toes are pressing into your wrist. Careful you don't shift your weight too much forward. Try to extend the legs as much as you can. Breathing into the back of your legs. One more deep inhale, with the exhale bend the knees, slide the hands from underneath your feet, inhale and lift halfway up, exhale release, reverse one dive, taking the hands to the ceiling, with the exhale hands come down to heart center. If you're facing forward, try to open up and face, uh, stand in a wide stance, so facing the other side, make sure you have your toes pointing forward, feet parallel to each other. Take your hands up into your waist. With the inhale, find length in your spine. With the exhale, hinge from your hips, re uh, leaning forward, reaching with the chest coming all the way down. Maybe releasing the hands in between the legs underneath you. Bring in the crown of the head as close to the mat as possible. Try to shift your weight a little forward so you don't have all your weight pressing down onto your heels. If you're a bit more advanced in your practice and you have a headstand here, feel free to drop your head to the mat, press into your hand, and lift up into your head, headstand. If you're in the headstand, slowly come back down. With 
on the next inhale, let's press the hands into the mat. Lifting the torso up so it's parallel to the floor. Bend the knees a little bit and let the next inhale help you come all the way up. Heel toe your feet together. Toes pointing to the corners of our mat. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. And when you're ready, sink down into your goddess pose. Maybe shift around left and right a little bit to find that release in your hips and in your knees. Open up your arms into cactus arms. Make sure the elbows are pressing back, bringing the shoulder blades closer to each other. With our next inhale, let's open up into five point star. Reach in with the hands to the corners of the room. Maybe take your chin up, open up the front of your neck. One more deep inhale. With the exhale, let's sink back down into our goddess pose. Feel that burn in your quads. Shift around and adjust your posture as you need to. Keep the back straight, open up the hands, engage the core. Inhale, lift up, five point star. Open up your chest, reach with the fingers to the corners of the room. One more deep inhale, exhale and release. Shake it off. Let's come back to the front of our mat. Bringing the feet together. Inhale and reach up. Exhale and fold. Halfway up on the inhale. Exhale and come down. Find your plank. Go through your flow over oh, leaning downward facing dog. Taking the hips up, rolling over the toes, finding your downward facing dog. With our next inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, and let's bring that knee to the right elbow, dropping it down behind the right wrist, extending the left leg behind you. Pressing the hands to the mat, lifting your chest up, find that extension. Take a deep inhale, and then with the exhale, start coming all the way down to the elbows, into your pigeon pose. Or if this is too much on your hips or on your knees, you can do your pigeon pose on your back in a supine position, just the way. Isabel is demonstrating right back here. Maybe reach with the hands behind the knee and pull it closer to your chest if you want a little more stretch, get a little more sensation deeper into your posture. Otherwise, if you're good here, maybe come all the way down, bringing the forehead down to the mat. And try to relax your shoulders, relax your hips, breathe into your belly, or breathe, send your breath to where you find that tension all that uh, muscle contraction, just breathe into it and try to relax it away. When you're ready with your next inhale, press into your hands and lift the torso up. Or if you're on your back, find your way into your downward facing dog. If you're in pigeon, tuck the back toes underneath you, lift that, lift up the back knee, and then take your right leg up into a three-legged dog. 
Bend the knee and start doing some hip circles. And then pause in the middle and reverse. And when you're ready, let's drop that right leg down to meet the left leg, getting back into our downward facing dog, setting up for our pigeon on the left side. With our next inhale, left leg goes up. With the exhale, let's bring that knee behind the left elbow, dropping it down to the mat, extending the right leg behind you, lifting the chest up, pressing the hands into the mat, squaring the hips. Taking a deep inhale, finding length in your spine. With the exhale, walk your hands forward, maybe coming down to your elbows or all the way down, bringing the forehead to the mat. With our next inhale, start to bring yourself back up, pressing the hands into the mat, bringing the torso up, tucking the back toes under, lifting up the back knee, taking the left leg up into the ceiling, three-legged dog, and then bend the knee and start doing some circles, opening up the hip. Then pause wherever you are and reverse that motion. And when you're ready, slowly drop that left leg down to meet the right leg into your downward facing dog. From your down dog, let's lean forward into our plank. Bending the elbows and coming all the way down into our belly. Release the top of the feet on the mat. Take both hands to either side of the body, pointing back. With our next inhale, let's lift everything off of the mat into our locust pose. Lift your chest up, lift your legs up, hands pointing back. Make sure you keep breathing into your posture. Don't hold your breath. With the next exhale, slowly release down to the mat. Bring either cheek down, or maybe your forehead down to the mat. Take a couple of breaths here. We'll do another variation of locust. This time we're going to take the hands behind the back, clasping the fingers together. Open up your chest. Pressing the knuckles down, and when you're ready on the inhale, lift everything up. Press the hips into the mat, lift up your chest, lift up your legs, open up your chest as much as you can, crown of the head reaching up. With the exhale, slowly come down, bringing the other cheek to the mat, releasing the hands to either side of the body. Reconnecting with your breath. With our next inhale, let's bring the hands in front of us, bringing the elbows underneath your shoulders, finding your sphinx pose. Spreading the fingers wide open on the mat. Pressing the hips into the mat, maybe pulling yourself forward a little bit to find that extension and that compression in the lower back. If this hurts your back in any way, maybe open up your feet a little. You get a little release from that back pain, that pinching if you're feeling it.
Keep the shoulders pressing down away from your ears. Shoulders over your elbows. One more deep inhale. With the exhale, slowly come down. Open up the elbows to the side. Bring in the hands on top of each other. Bring in the forehead on top of your hands. From here, let's bend the knees, taking the soles of the feet up to the, towards the ceiling, and start dropping the legs down to the left side and up and down to the right side, finding that windshield wiper motion, releasing that, the hips, and releasing that tension in the lower back. And then we'll come back to center, bringing the knees together, keeping the knees bent, Let's reach back with the hands, bringing the soles of the feet closer to our sitting bones, grabbing our feet, and then with the inhale, let's lift up into our boat pose. Pressing the heels up towards the ceiling, opening up your chest, pressing the hips into the mat. Exhale and release. Drop the legs down, release the hands to either side. And to counter those little bad guys that we just did, let's bring the hands underneath our shoulders and press ourselves up and back into a closed knee child's pose. Try to find softness in your body wherever you can. Maybe taking that breath into the lower belly, feeling that little extension in the lower back. One more deep inhale. Exhale, sinking a little deeper. With our next inhale, let's press ourselves up onto our knees. Cross the ankles and let's find ourselves all the way down onto our back. Bringing the soles of the feet closer to our sitting bones. Let's cross the right knee on top of the left knee. Shift the hips couple inches to the left side and then drop your knees down to the right taking your gaze over your left shoulder opening up your hands option here if you'd like to get a little deeper into your twist maybe with your left hand press down gently on your knees bringing them closer to the mat You'll feel that twist getting a little deeper. You feel that tension maybe going away a little bit. Always breathing into your twist. Releasing all the toxins from the body. With our next inhale, let's bring the knees back to center. Readjust our spine to the middle of the mat. And then we'll do the other side. Crossing the right knee on top of the, the left knee, I mean on top of the right knee. Shifting the hips a couple of inches to the right side. And then dropping your knees down to the left. Taking your gaze over your right shoulder. Try to relax your core muscles, your belly muscles. Relax your shoulders, make sure the shoulders are in contact with the mat. With our next inhale, we'll bring the knees back up to center. Release the cross, and then bring our knees in for a hug. Squeezing ourselves into a tight ball. Maybe lift your head and your shoulders to meet your knees.
and then open up the knees, grab the insides of your feet, finding your happy baby, bending the legs at a, almost a 90 degree angle, and then pulling down with the hands to bring the knees a little closer to the mat or into the armpits. Meanwhile, keeping the lower back in contact with the mat, try and keep the shoulders in contact with the mat also. From here, maybe start swaying left and right to massage the lower back and the hips. Shift around and move around however you like, whatever feels good to you. Maybe keep one knee bent and open up the other leg. Maybe open up both legs as wide as you can. A lot of things could feel good for you but don't necessarily feel good to somebody else. So just explore and see what works for you and what doesn't. From here, if there's any other posture you'd like to get into before we settle into our Shavasana, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, fully extend the legs on the mat, let the feet drop to either side, bring in the hands to either side of the body with the palms facing up, Shift around and do any necessary micro adjustments to find that comfortable spot where you can hold stillness. Once you do, reconnect with your breath. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose, filling the belly and the chest as much as you can, and then pop your lips and sigh it out. Let's do that a couple more times. Deep inhale through the nose. Fill the belly and the chest. And then sigh it out. One more deep inhale. All the way to the top of the lungs, to the collarbone. And then let it out. Relax. Let your body sink into the mat. Release any thoughts in your head. Slow down your breathing. Maybe do a mental scan of your body. Try to find out where you're holding tension, where there's any muscle contraction. Try to let it go. Starting with the face muscles. Maybe relaxing the forehead and the eyebrows. Relaxing the jaw. Relaxing the corners of your eyes. Relax the neck and the shoulders. The belly, the arms, the hands and the fingers. Relax your thighs, your hips, your calves your feet and your toes. Let go of what doesn't serve you anymore. Slow down your breath. Maybe extend that exhale to be as long as the inhale. Bring the breath back into the body, taking a deep inhale through the nose, slowly letting it out. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe rotate your wrists and your ankles. Shifting your head to the left and to the right. Taking the hands behind the head 
for a morning stretch, reaching back with the hands as far as you can, reaching the toes forward, stretching the whole body. And then let's bring the knees back into the chest for one more hug. Squeezing yourself tight for one last time, and then on the exhale, release. And roll over to either side into a fetal position, supporting your head on your hand. Just for a couple of moments, and then when you're ready to come out, press your hand into the mat, lift yourself up, find your comfortable spot, maybe sitting on your heels, or sitting cross-legged, half lotus, whatever feels good to you. Make sure you keep your spine long and straight, maybe the eyes closed. Pressing the shoulders down away from the ears. Let's bring our hands to heart center in Anjali Mudra. May you be happy, may you be healthy. May our thoughts and our actions contribute to the happiness of others. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for joining us in our first uh, live Facebook Live video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if it was a little choppy, if we have any technical difficulties, we do apologize and we'll try to work on it for next time. Um, other than that, um, um, you can leave us any comments. We'll do our best to get back to you if you have any questions or comments. And hope to see you next time. So take care. Bye. <laughs>